Hello guys, you're welcome to today's video. Uh, this video is intended to be an animation video and uh, I know I don't do voiceovers for, for these videos but um, since this video is going to be very long I'll be doing a voiceover just trying to explain a few things as, um, as we look along, as we watch together. Okay. So right now uh, the mouse is, uh, this is our, that's our compaction unit it's a compaction unit. Well, this block machine produces two solid blocks of sizes, uh, size 400 by 200 by 200. That is length times width times the height. And uh, just uh, right now, we're just uh, uh, looking at the basic motion of the machine. And uh, later on, we are going to look at how everything comes together, how the parts interact. Okay. Well, so this is our frame, and on the frame we attach every component. That is the motor, the mold, and the compression unit. Everything is attached to the frame, and uh, this is done using bolts and uh, bearings. Uh, this is our compression unit. Uh, the compaction unit is um, consisting of uh, two parts, okay? It has a frame that consists of two parts, the the blue side and uh, we have the yellow side, okay? And uh, the yellow part is uh, is the is the press that, uh, as you see, it has the shape of a solid block on top, you know? So it, the, 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 com the press determines which type of block we are making, okay? So now we are going to look at all these parts coming together. The compaction unit parts. Uh, well, that's our frame, the first part of our frame. So the first part, you see, it has uh, it has four four shafts on it, and the shafts on top have uh, the smaller uh, diameter. You know, this is just the bolt. Uh, sorry, this is a threaded part of the shaft. Okay, and later on you see how that part works. Uh, this is uh, the black thing. Is uh, it's just a rubber. A rubber plate and the rubber plate is held with uh, that is the washer that is coming it is held with by four bolts okay that's the washer plate then you have four bolts that are going to tie everything together okay just now and then the four nuts on the other side so the the plate uh, the washer plate is just to keep the rubber from uh, um, getting uh, broken maybe just to keep it firm into in place okay then we have these bolts that uh, tie the upper the part the first part of the frame to the press and then we have the nuts coming in so the yellow part is uh, is a uh, press of course as I said before and I told you that it has uh, the the flat base just because of uh, the kind of blocks we are making in this machine then we have the other side of the other part of the frame the compression unit frame and uh, it fits in the in the forward shafts that i previously talked about so and we see these are the washers so these washers are here are just for height control i think in the next video i'll be talking about how this all works how they work so we have uh, those bolts and then another set of bolts so these are just for controlling the height of a of a block the there is for controlling the height of a block uh, right now that pin that is coming in that pin is uh is just a locking system for the what for the compression unit so like um in case of vertical motion it goes up it locks then uh, this is a spring this is a, sp a return spring well this return spring what it does at when we're operating this machine, we pull and then when we release, uh, the return spring just pushes the pin back into position. So that's why we have a return spring. Then that's a plate that holds the return spring in place. Uh, it has two bolts on it. Then the bolts with their nuts are locking the plate firmly in place. And uh, then we have uh, this other component here, where which is just for 
for grabbing onto and pulling you know so it it is for pulling the the lock to release the compression unit and when you release the lock it goes back into its original position so maybe next time i'll be showing you how that lock works right now i'm just doing a voiceover for for this machine okay then these two bolts here they're just for um, so when we are when the the compression unit is sliding these two bolts they um, used to align the compression unit with the the mold so they align it so that uh, it is in uh, in the perfect position the two bearings you saw that came in those are just for uh, they are the ones that are used for the horizontal motion uh, later on you see the horizontal motion I'm talking about so these bearings they allow uh, motion in the on the guide drill there's a, the guide drill on the on the sides of the frame uh, where this compression unit sits so the compression unit can move horizontally and vertically so in this case uh, the horizontal motion is allowed due to the uh, these bearings and the vertical motion we are it's allowed using uh, the the four shafts you see and their bushings Uh, those are the pins that are used to lock the bearings in place and you see that we have the pins and we have uh, the washers as well just to keep everything in place so yeah this is our compaction unit let's go to the next part next part we have uh, the vibration system this is the mold vibration system and uh, it's just, uh, uh, as you see, it just consists of this uh, double groove pulley. And uh, inside we have an eccentric shaft, a shaft with an eccentric load, okay? So uh, we are going to open up everything. Uh, we are going to lock the rotation of the, of the pulley with that of the shaft. So after locking the rotation, they both rotate together, okay? In the real world, uh, we just use a, a key. There is a key way and uh, you have to fit a key in, in position to allow that motion to occur. So the eccentric mass basically uh, is one that allows the vibration of, uh, of the mold. So this is an assembly. The eccentric shaft goes in, then we have the bearing, then we have another bearing on this other side. Then we have the cover. So the cover has a, a, a part that allows the bearing to sit in. So that's what I'm trying to show here. Then the cover is bolted. And on the other side we have the nuts. And then the bolts of the other side, then the nuts as well. So it's basically these components that make up the vibration system for our mold here. Let's look at the next part. And uh, so the next part is the mold, the mold system, okay? The mold unit or the the block making part of the machine. And here we are already seeing that we have uh, two vibration what units that have been previously discussed and this, these systems are connected to each other using one single belt and um, right now we are going to see how these things come together so that is uh, one of the vibration units it is attached to the mold in that position with uh, four bolts and then uh, another set of uh, a set of four nuts as well Okay. Then on the other side, we also have another vibration unit that is fitted on the mold using uh, uh, four bolts and a four nuts. So as I said before, this mold is for uh, solid blocks. So that's why you just see a chuboido shape in, in it, okay? But uh, actually, uh, it can be changed. You can have uh, block designs of, of other kinds, you know? 
this is a solid block we can have hollow blocks being made as well just have to change the mold and the case so this is uh the this is the frame part where which has the bushing that's uh, joined to the to the vertical shaft to allow vertical motion of the of the mold you know you see those uh those those cylindrical parts on the side that's where the shafts uh, vertical shafts are fitted that allow the mold to move up and down and the other thing you will notice that um we have uh the the there is something some part where uh, we shall have the lifting arm join okay we shall talk about the lifting arm later in the video so we are bolting the the mold so we have the bolts under there yes this is our mold unit block mold unit and uh, that was the assembly So now this is our um, this is our mold lifting system, and the molding lifting system it just has a like an arm on the you have you see that curve part that's uh, where you hold and pull to lift the mold, you know, and uh, so now we're just going to look at an assembly of that. And we have the pins coming in, split pin locking and a washer, then a pin then another pin to lock and uh, these are just bushings uh, simple bushings and another pin then the pin is locked by a split pin and that's the that's the lifting system this is the vertical shaft I talked about so the mold fits the other bush the other cylindrical part you so fits uh, and this is our belt tensioning uh, arm you know so you will see that in this is our pallet it's a, a pallet is just basically a piece of wood that uh, where the blocks are formed okay now we are going to look at uh, we're going to look at the assembly of all the components together and uh, we are now looking at the frame at the machine frame without the components and the components are coming in so that is as i said this is our tensioning Bell tensioning system or arm. It is fitted on the frame there with a plate, with a washer and a pin. And um, where this is our motor guard. The motor guard has a hole where the motor fits. With the pulley, the motor fits in that hole. Okay, now we're just looking at. Oh, the motor comes in okay the motor is fitted you see the belt and uh, there is uh, the spring that is the, the belt tensioning system there so in the next video i'll be giving you our more details of how this works and uh yeah the motor has been bolted to the frame and then we have the the, the motor guard also being bolted now that's done and that's our motor and the the tensioning system they are complete then the mode lifting system comes in and um, we see there is a pin that is coming the blue pin that pin there is just for holding the mold in position when you're picking the blocks off then the i'll say i'm sorry because here i see the video is going too fast but i hope you keep up that is the table for what the pallet table. I don't know if I introduced that. That's the pallet table. So the, the pallet table is bolted to the frame and can be adjusted up and down uh, to fit any block sizes or any operator needs. Then the wooden pallet, as I said, that's where it is. Then after the wooden pallet, we have uh, we have um, our mold unit. And you see the mold unit actually has the belt from the motor links to the mold unit and uh, they all work together and we have the vertical shaft the vertical shafts are then are bolted in position and um, okay so they are, the vertical shafts are being bolted in position as you see and, 
links to the sea. Okay, and uh, we have finished bolting the vertical shafts in the frame. And now the compaction unit comes in and it has uh, slid, slid in, I will slide, slid, but anyway, it has slid in. And then we have this, this yellow part here. This yellow part here is just to limit the motion of, uh, uh, I remember I told you the, about the two bolts. Those bolts now they are used to control the vertical to align the what the the compression unit with the mold so they are, do that by stopping being stopped by those yellow plates so the yellow plates are just there to stop the compression unit from any further movement you know so that it stays in alignment with what with the mold yes and this is our belt tensioning system that is uh, the arm. I'm just trying to show you that uh, this arm moves up and down above about a given pivot, and the spring is uh, the spring you're seeing is just uh, the ones that keeps the belt in tension. Okay, so the spring keeps the belt in tension uh, during operation of this machine, and. Uh, Yeah, now we are looking at the machine and there we have our locking system as you see with the with the return spring and everything. Then let's look around the machine and uh else? yes, this is our mode lifting system and you see when you move the, the mode lifting system the mode moves up and down, okay? That's what it does. That's what the mode lifting system does. Up and down. Okay. So I, as I said, the pallet is just a wooden, a wooden uh, plank at, uh, where the blocks are being formed. Okay, so when the blocks are formed in the pallet, someone will come and carry the pallet away, and take the blocks for curing. And uh, that's uh, the sliding motion of the compaction unit. Mm, I think this video is coming to an end. Okay, let me keep explaining. So you see the sliding motion, you see the bearings are actually sliding in the C channel. And uh, that is the horizontal motion of the, you see it slides the back, then it can also slide back. So you do this by pulling. Uh, this video is coming to an end, and I, I really thank you guys for watching this video, and uh, I hope uh, my explanation was uh, clear and you guys understood how this machine works and um, i hope to see you guys in the next video uh, take care